Coming up on 12's Season to Celebrate. 12's Toya Washington and Terry Sater introduce Blazing Star. Performed in memory of Terry's wife, Lynn. Salvation is the gift he brings, the gift he brings. Family and friends join their voices in a song of celebration. 12 Season to Celebrate, brought to you by American. We'll return in a moment. What a wonderful, albeit cold night here at Red Arrow Park. Welcome back, everyone. You called it. All right. We want to take a moment to say a few thank yous. Our set decorations here are courtesy of two friends of the show, Boston Store Bayshore and Hawks Nursery. We do appreciate your gifts to us. Now another true gift. Oh. Every year we feature at least one location with historic significance. This year it is a church in Washington County with a touching story. St. Augustine Church sits up on a hill overlooking the farms of the town of Trenton. Founded in 1849 on donated land, the church served the German-speaking families in the area and became a home of worship and teaching. Built with native field stone and mortar, the walls are more than three feet thick. A wooden octagonal steeple designed to mimic the barns of Ozaki County sits atop the structure. The stained glass was made in Milwaukee and installed in 1906. In its simplicity, the church provides a sense of comfort and warmth. The church is under the care of the Holy Trinity Parish in Newburgh. It is kept up by volunteers who were members of St. Augustine's and it is supported entirely by donations. The church is open just once a year for Christmas Eve Mass. And tonight, we've chosen it as the setting for a song dedicated to all of you at home who have lost a loved one this year. We know how difficult it can be to face the holidays without that special someone. Our Channel 12 family suffered that kind of loss this fall. Joining us now from St. Augustine's Church, our colleagues Toya Washington and Terry Sater. Now, as many of you know, Lynn Sater, Terry's wife, passed away last month. She was your sweetheart for 25 years. She is a mother to three beautiful daughters. And of course, she was a friend to so many people. And what many people might not know is she was a very, very talented woman. She was all of that and more. And I want to thank all of you at home for your condolences. It has meant so much to my family. The ensemble that's gathered behind us is from Oconomowoc High School. And they're performing tonight a very special song, a special song to you and your family. It is. Lynn uh, wrote this song several years ago. It's called Blazing Stars, part of a Christmas-themed musical. And her heart in writing this was to give glory to God and to bring joy, the joy of Christmas, to children and their families and to everyone who would hear it. All right. You're going to join your daughters on stage in the I am. choir, I'm going to, go join the choir. to sing. All right. Go join the choir. Thank you. Now, of course, we are very grateful to St. Augustine's Church, this beautiful setting, this wonderful ensemble that's standing behind us. We do want to, of course, point out the pianist, Mark Carlstein, and his wife, who is performing soloist tonight, Lynn Carlstein. One quiet night in Bethlehem, the prophet's word soon began, for in a manger lay a baby boy. In his stable on the desert sand, Mary held the answer in her hands, to sin and sorrow blanketing the world. Lights, lights, lights. 
salvation is the gift he brings, the gift he brings. There is light, 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 shining down for the world to see. There is joy, joy, joy. Angels sing out glory, hallelujah for the world, world, world. Had a hope in the baby king, now there's light and joy in the world. Join the world, light and joy, light, light, join the world.